good to us. Amen. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Amen. Let us now go before the throne of grace. Eternal God, our Father, we do come, O oh God, looking to you. We come, O oh God, leaning on you. We come, O oh God, with our expectation from you. For we know, O oh God, that it is you, O oh God, who knows just what we need. promised to supply our every need. We bless your name, God. We claim the victory, God, because of who you are. Thank you, God. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Turn with us. Amen. To the book of Luke. The 23rd chapter. Verses 32 through 43. Amen. God has, amen, spoken through by his Holy Spirit that we be reminded Amen. Of why we are here. Amen. That we will, as our Sunday school lesson pointed out, have a sense of purpose Amen. while we are still here. Amen. 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 It is written. And there were also two other malefactors led with him, Jesus, to be put to death. And when they were come to the place, which is called Calvary, there they crucified him and the malefactors, one on the right hand and the other on the left. Then said Jesus, For Father, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they parted his raiment and cast lots. And the people stood beholding, and the rulers also with them derided him, uh -huh, laughed at him, ridiculed him, mocked him, saying, he saved others, let him save himself, if he be Christ, the chosen of God. And the soldiers also mocked him, coming to him and offering him vinegar. Mm -hmm. And saying, if thou be the king of the Jews, save thyself. And a superscription also was written over him in letters of Greek, 
and Latin and Hebrew. This is the king of the Jews. And one of the malefactors which were hanged railed on him, criticized him severely, <laughs> saying, if thou be Christ, save thyself and us. Mm. But the other, answering, rebuked him, saying, dost not thou fear God, seeing thou art in the same condemnation and we he says indeed justly <laughs> we deserve what we get uh -huh. for we receive the due rewards of our deeds but this man but this man hath done nothing amiss and he said unto Jesus Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. And Jesus said unto him, Verily, truly, I say unto thee, Today shalt thou be with me in paradise. Amen. Amen. Thank you, God. Amen. amen. Glory to God. Amen. We preach, amen, as we have been led by God's precious Holy Spirit, amen. secured citizenship. Amen. Secured amen. citizenship. Amen. amen. We don't, we, we, we are thankful that we are Peach County citizens. Right. Amen. And Fort Valley citizens. And Byron. And wherever else you live. Citizens. Amen. But none compare. Amen. To being a citizen of heaven. Amen. Having a secured citizenship. Amen. Secure means that that thing is fixed. <laughs> Amen. It's firmly fixed. And nothing and nobody can change it. Amen. Amen. It, we have possession of, amen, citizenship, kingdom citizenship, Though we are right down here on earth. Amen. We have a home, as Jesus said. Amen. In glory land. Amen. He is preparing mansions for us. Amen. For us to go back with him, believers, when he comes. Amen. We might have to go through some things on this side. Amen. But we have secured citizenship. Amen. Notice, amen, that one of the criminals, amen, joined in the mocking of Jesus. Amen. After all, if Jesus were the Messiah, he should have saved those who were being crucified with him. Amen. But the other criminal, yeah. he saw things different. Amen. Oh, yeah. oh, Amen. Yeah. If we are saved, we ought to see things differently. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. We ought to have a godly perspective. Yeah. Amen. We are only here, praise God, amen, because we have a godly perspective perspective. This man respected God. We see it in the text because he says, do you not even fear God? Don't 
don't you know when you're attacking God's people, you are attacking God? When you mock, when you lie, when you throw your rocks and hide your hands, amen, when you gossip, when you do those ugly deeds, even those evil thoughts, the thoughts may come, but the believer is to rebuke the thought yeah. in the name of yeah. Jesus yeah. if it does not glorify God. Yeah. Do you not even fear God? Yeah. He knew his own sin. He said, under the same condemnation, he knew even his own sin. You know yours. Yeah. We know ours. Yeah. Oh, we all have some boldness about us. Because we know our sin. And we still walk in God's holy place. Prayerfully that we may be clean. But I hope you know you don't have to wait till you get here to be clean. We can call on God wherever we are. Amen. God, help me. God, forgive me. God, show me the way that I may operate in a way that is pleasing unto you because of who you are and because I'm heaven bound because of what Jesus did. This unbecoming of a child of God. He knew his own sin. We indeed justly, he said, for we receive the due reward of our deeds. We deserve death. We deserve death. We yeah. sin against God. Right. Isn't that what David said? Against thee, and thee only have I seen. We sin against God. This same God that we claim we fear. This man, he knew Jesus because he said this man has done nothing wrong. He called out to Jesus. Yeah. He called out to Jesus as Lord. Yeah. As Lord. Amen. He believed Jesus was who he said Amen. he was. Amen. Do you? Amen. Do you really? Amen. Going beyond lip service, do you really? beyond carrying your Bible and showing up on, yeah. on Sunday. Do, do you really? Yeah. Do, you, do you really? Yeah. Because they that really yeah. believe yeah. are those that have secured yeah. citizenship. Yeah. Assuredly I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Jesus wanted to give this man assurance. Yeah. All right. All right. Where is paradise? Yeah. It's in heaven. Amen. And that man went to heaven to be with Jesus. Uh-huh. Went with Jesus. Went to heaven with Jesus. But understand that it is the presence of Jesus that makes it paradise. Amen. Jesus makes it paradise. <laughs> yes, he does. Amen. What we have here, my brothers and my sisters, is a deathbed 
bad conversion. Mm -hmm. Death bed. Uh -huh. No, he was not. They were not in literal beds, uh -huh. physical beds, but they were at the point of death. And truth be told, we're always at the point of death. A deathbed conversion. We all not take that chance to get so close to death, not knowing Jesus. You're taking a chance. Yeah. 
reality of their condition. Ain't nobody going to heaven just anyhow. I don't care who you know. I know you got hookups over here and hookups over there. But if you're going to heaven, you got to be hooked up with Jesus. Enough, they put a sign up. Yeah. 
Hebrews, this is the king of the Jews. See, see, these three languages were number one, the universal tongue. Number two, the official language of the Roman Empire. And number three, the official speech of the Jews. In other words, they weren't leaving nobody. They want everybody to know. That this is the king of the Jews. They want everybody to know. Well, you ought to want everybody to know. Amen. He was crucified. Huh? He was crucified. Yes, he was. And he was buried in a bar or two. You ought to want everybody to know that. And you ought to want everybody to know that he didn't stay there. But he got
what they do. Oh, we must be so controlled by the Spirit that even in our darkest hour, we can declare and ask God to forgive them. Don't want to 
want to deal with, that you don't want to part of your congregation. Jesus said they can come. And because Jesus said they can come, they can come. And when we get in the way of that, God's going to deal with us. You don't want to have to deal with God because you block somebody from seeing Jesus when your job is to point up to Jesus. Because what Jesus does, he cleans us up. And all that that we came to him with, he has a way of washing us clean. Amen. He washes us clean to the glory of God that we may be useful for the kingdom. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. He didn't make a list of nobody who wouldn't qualify. Yeah. But he died for the sins of the whole world. Yeah. Titus 1 and 2, in hope of eternal life, which God that cannot lie yeah. promised before the world began. Yeah. He sent his only begotten son. And we thank him. Amen. For the wages of sin is death. That's what we deserve. Just like the thief said. But the gift of God is eternal life. Amen. And notice Jesus. As he was preparing to die. Took the time. To save one. Who desired salvation. Yeah. He will do that for us. He did that then and he's still doing it now. He did it when he gave his life. Amen. Yeah. And so if you desire yeah. secure citizenship. Yeah. Accept Jesus today as your personal savior. Yeah. He will receive you. Amen. Just as you are. Yeah. Amen. We in and of ourselves, we cannot save ourselves. If we are going to be saved, it is by grace. Through faith in Jesus Christ. That we confess with our mouth and believe in our hearts that God did raise Jesus from the dead. And the Bible says we shall be saved. You can walk out of here saying today. Amen. If you but talk to Jesus. Amen. Don't be distracted by anybody else. Just come to Jesus. Amen. And he will in no wise cast you out. We're talking about secure citizenship. Amen. And if Jesus, just as Jesus did, even in his dying hour. Amen. Just as he did. All right. He kept the faith. Yes, he was the perfect example, staying the course. Yes. We must do that. There's no end to pointing others to Jesus Christ until we are at the end. Until he says, the end. Yeah. Amen. 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 Be faithful to God. Amen. If you've never been faithful before, yeah. be faithful to him now. He deserves it. He deserves it. Amen. Because he gave his only begotten son. That's how much God desires a relationship with each one of us. He gave his only begotten son. And so if you desire secure citizenship, if you desire safe salvation, amen, Jesus is the only way. He is the only way. He is the way, the truth, and the life. The only provision made for salvation. As you are led, if you are led, please come to Jesus. And he will in no wise cast you out. 
today so please listen carefully and if you need any further information you can always check with us in the office you are invited please join us for the sixth annual ladies tea hosted by women's ministry of first baptist church fort valley on the fourth sunday april 23rd from two to 4 p.m. Come and enjoy afternoon tea, fellowship, and fun. A message from the White Springs Baptist Church. You are cordially invited to, jo to join the White Springs Baptist Church family in celebrating our 155th church anniversary. This joyous occasion will be held on May 7th, 2023 at 11.30 a.m. Uh, this is from Reverend Otha Wright and uh, the White Springs family. Dear Minister Ross and all of the extended family, including that of Shiloh Missionary Baptist Church, uh, of Pastor Morris Hillsman. I was highly blessed, favored, and honored to have the warm, benevolent friendship of Pastor Hillsman through the many years. The news of his passing saddens me greatly. On behalf of my family, to all of Pastor Hillsman's family, I extend my abiding prayers and deepest condolences. May the Lord's arms surround you, sustain you, and strengthen, fortify, and uplift you during these very challenging days. Sincerely yours, Gordon Jack Joyner, a child of Fort Valley. The Peach County Retired Educators Association says thank you to Coach Alfonso B. Varner. The PCREA is grateful for the dedicated service rendered by Mr. Varner uh, for several years. Support us by attending a program at St. Peter AME Church on Sunday, April 30th at 2 p.m. and help us add to the Varner Memorial Scholarship Fund established by his family at Fort Valley State University.
National Day of Prayer. And this comes from the First Baptist Church of Fort Valley. On May the 4th, at the gazebo in downtown Fort Valley, Mayor Jeffrey Lundy of Fort Valley will present a document proclaiming the National Day of Prayer. Representatives from several churches are planning the schedule for observing this special day uh, with a set-aside time to pray for our government leaders at all levels. The tentative plan for this event is to meet at the downtown gazebo at 12.05 p.m. on Thursday, May the 4th. We would like to have community pastors volunteer to be a part of this important event. If you are willing to lead a prayer group, please contact Nancy Fairclaw. Uh, you can call or text 478-954-3331, but do so by April 24th. Mount Olive CME Church invites you to come and celebrate with us uh, the church, church's 123rd anniversary uh, will be held on April the 30th, 2023, starting at 2 o'clock p.m. The Reverend Dennis Harden and the New Hope Baptist Church of Perry will be their guests. Thank you and Please govern yourselves according to these announcements. Amen. We pray that something was said. Amen comforting to your spirit. We pray that where conviction was needed, it was done. We pray that we all draw nearer to God. Amen. Let us stand. Our officers are coming to receive gifts that you may have for the church. Amen for the upbuilding of God's kingdom. Amen. Continue to call on God and he will surely answer as you call him out of a sincere heart. Amen. May the Lord watch between me and thee while we are absent one from another. Amen. 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 